I'm really feeling the waves today. Okay, they're really cute. Usually I feel like these end up very bushy big, but I used a finishing spray in them that like kind of helps silkify the hair and I feel like it worked. Tutorial? Let me know. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. Today's video is very exciting because I am breaking down some of my absolute favorite skincare products for the summer that are all under $20. We are talking sunscreens, face washes, acne care, face masks, and one body care product that I feel like has become my product of the summer. Really the whole brand, but this product specifically. I I will say update on my forehead acne. You guys know typically every summer I deal with fungal acne and right now it is perhaps the hottest outside it has ever been at this point in June since I've lived in Nashville. I think that I heard on the radio today that it is the seventh hottest summer on record in Nashville. I think today it's already in the 90s and it is barely 11 o'clock. 92 degrees at 11 o'clock. That is disgusting. And the uh, feels like section here is gonna go ahead and say 105 degrees. So this is like a perfect time for my skin to start to freak out. My skin hates heat. It doesn't do well when it's really, really hot out and there's direct sunlight on my face. But so far this summer, I have not dealt with my fungal acne and I do think it is a combination of getting Botox and some of these products that we're going to talk about today. This video is partially sponsored by, you guessed it, one, two, three, say it with me, Hero Cosmetics! Yay! I work with Hero on my channel almost monthly at this point to talk about specific products and I feel like you guys are always enjoying it because Hero Cosmetics is one of my favorite skincare brands, especially for the fact that they are incredibly accessible and very well priced for how good their products are. So if you're interested in learning about how I have kept my face from breaking out in 105 degree weather, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are talking today about a very special Hero Cosmetics product, and I'm very happy to have a brand new one because if you missed my last video, which was an empty video, you will have seen that my husband and I went through yet another Hero Cosmetics Fort Shield Super Light Sunscreen. We have gone through upwards of four to five of those together since it came out last summer, which basically tell you that this is one of the only sunscreens that he uses, and it is one of the top sunscreens in my rotation. And as a skincare and beauty creator, it really says a lot that I have continued to repurchase this over and over again knowing that there are so many new sunscreens that come out on the market that should tell you how I feel about this one this is one of the if not the top sunscreen that I like to recommend to people who have acne prone skin especially if you have redness prone skin in the summer this is a super light literally super light sunscreen made with zinc oxide so it is a 100% mineral sunscreen and it blends into the skin so beautifully. Not only do I love the texture of this sunscreen, but one of the top concerns that my husband has and that I have in the summer is redness on the skin. And this has an actual very light but noticeable green tint to it to help counteract any redness you may have. If you are a super oily person, you could use this sunscreen as your moisturizer and sunscreen all in one. That is what my husband does. Or you could use it on top of a lightweight gel moisturizer to add an extra layer of moisturization and hydration on the skin. This this sunscreen can absolutely be worn year round. However, I really prefer it in the summer because of how lightweight, watery, and moisturizing it feels. This is an SPF 30, which I love. That is pretty much my daily wear, SPF 30 to 50. I really don't go under SPF 30, and this one provides great protection on the skin, on the ears, and on the neck. It's gorgeous, it's lightweight, it helps with redness, it hydrates the skin, and it protects you from the sun. What more can I say? If you are interested in the super light sunscreen, I do have a coupon code with Hero Cosmetics. Cosmetics. I will put it up. My dog just ran into the wall. <laughs> I will put it up on the screen now. Thank you again to Hero for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's dive into the rest of these products. Okay, so let's talk about cleansers. If you have done your skincare routine for the day and you are looking to remove all of your sunscreen, all of your makeup and all of the gunk on your skin, I have two cleansers, again, under $20. I also wanna mention pretty much every single one of these. I know for a fact, every single one of these are available at Ulta Beauty and most of them are available at Target. So pick your poison, but both of these are available 
full at both. And I want to talk about an acne fighting cleanser and then a general foaming cleanser. So let's start with the general foaming cleanser. This is the La Roche Posay Tellurian Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I think this is my second or third bottle of this type of cleanser from La Roche Posay, which again says a lot. This is a 13 ounce bottle of cleanser. <laughs> this is my favorite foaming cleanser that I've ever tried that does not have any active ingredients in it. It's just simply a a face wash. It's a face wash. Because it's from La Roche Posay, you know that it's safe for sensitive skin. It's fragrance free. It includes a little bit of niacinamide to help brighten the skin, but it's going to wash away. So even if you are a little bit sensitive to niacinamide, I really wouldn't worry about it. It's also soap free and sulfate free. So I find that even though it does foam up on the skin, it doesn't dry out the skin, which is one of my biggest concerns with foaming cleansers. Because I used to Take as much oil as I had on my face, I would try and blot it off and wash my face an insane amount because I just thought I was so oily. Oh my God, my skin is producing so much oil. But it was because I just kept stripping it of that natural oil so it continued to produce more. So I really like to try and find more gentle foaming cleansers, but I do think that having a foaming cleanser on hand, especially in the evening, in the summertime, is really going to help your skin. It also has ceramides in it to help with your skin barrier. So really, this is just the best foaming cleanser cleanser out there. I'm just telling you, you just got to try it. It is under $20 for 13 ounces of product. I promise you're going to like it. I also love their hydrating cleanser, which was in my empties video last week, but for acne care and for that summer heat and oily skin, this is the one. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I do deal with fungal acne and bacterial acne, especially in the summer. And one of the only things that I have found that has made a huge difference in my skin and did not, I never in a million years thought it would be this product, is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. Now, this is a benzyl peroxide based cleanser. That is a very like triggering word to a lot of people. Not everyone likes benzyl peroxide, which I get it. It is a very polarizing ingredient. Some people have great luck with it and some people absolutely hate it. I'm just one of those people who my skin happens to really like it. Benzyl peroxide can be very drying on the skin, but it is one of the most effective acne fighting ingredients. It is used a ton in dermatology, but the best way to use it, in my opinion, is in a face wash form. This is a 4% benzyl peroxide treatment. That's pretty high for over the counter, but because it's in a creamy formula, I don't notice any drying with this product. I personally like to use this after using a foaming cleanser. So I'll remove my makeup, I'll remove my skincare, all of that with a foaming cleanser, and then I'll go in with the acne foaming cream cleanser from CeraVe and I'll let it sit on my forehead area while I'm in the shower doing the rest of my routine and then I'll wash it off at the end. So it's had some contact time on the skin, but I'm not leaving it on overnight or for multiple hours, in which case benzoyl peroxide can be irritating when left on the skin. I also find that benzoyl peroxide is typically prescribed from a dermatologist in a wash form. So I like that you can buy this one over the counter and it works so well. If you are a person who deals with acne and you feel like you just haven't found anything that's really helped, I say try a benzoyl peroxide based wash. Again, this one's under $20 from Target. Very inexpensive, very affordable, and it has worked so well for me when it's really, really hot out just while you're in the shower. It's very easy to use, doesn't hurt the skin, has hyaluronic acid, has niacinamide, has of course ceramides, just like the La Roche Posay, so it's not going to hurt your skin barrier. I freaking love it. So speaking of acne care, this is a brand that is available at Target that I have really, really enjoyed recently and I haven't seen too many people talk about it and that's the brand Bioma. I freaking love this brand. I'm pretty sure everything that they make is under $16, so it's even cheaper than the rest of these products. This is their clarifying serum. I have been using this for over a month now and I really, really like it. In fact, I like all of their serums. If you're looking for affordable skincare that that is based around kind of ceramides, kind of like CeraVe, but also based around just like good ingredients, fragrance free, good for sensitive skin, totally check out this brand. Like I think they are incredibly underrated. So specifically I like using the clarifying serum because it is a blue tansy PHA and zinc based serum. So instead of using like a harsher active like salicylic acid or using an AHA or a BHA, it's actually using a PHA, which is one of the most gentle exfoliators that you can find 
mind, but it also includes blue tansy and zinc, which are going to help clarify the skin without really going in and deeply exfoliating, meaning you could use this more often without irritation. Another cool thing about Bioma is on their products, they have all of the ingredients listed out and then they say what they're in the product for. So you can see here, niacinamide skin conditioner, ceramide skin conditioner, zinc, skin soothing. It has the emulsifiers, the humectants, and the exfoliants in here. So it has everything listed out by ingredient, which I think is really cool and helps people who maybe don't understand the skincare community and don't know what ingredients do what. So it's gonna help calm the skin. It's gonna help clear the skin. It's super lightweight. It's very watery. So I would use this straight on the skin after washing it or cleansing it in the morning and then go in with your moisturizer or your SPF. I think you can wear this during the day or in the evening. It's very lightweight. I don't think it's gonna irritate your skin barrier and it's just gonna give your skin that extra step of a tiny bit of exfoliation before you go out and about in the day, build up your oil, your sweat and your grease. I love this. I say check out Bioma and give them a chance. Reed has also almost used up their entire moisturizing cream and he really likes it. So I'm just saying. Okay, next up is a brand that again, I feel like nobody talks about and is underrated and should absolutely be talked about. And that's the brand Peach Slices. We're specifically going to be talking about their snail rescue wash off mask. So if you didn't know, Peach Slices is actually the sister brand to Peach and Lily. I went on a brand trip with them recently to Chicago and I learned all about their brand. And I had talked to a few of the women who worked there about Peach Slices because it is the lower cost sister brand to Peach and Lily. And I found out that a lot of the ingredients in the lab that they use for peach slices is the same as peach and lily so these products are just as good and effective as peach and lily at a lower price because their packaging is a little bit more kid like it's more like teen vibes but the inside stuff is just as good you guys you can pick up peach slices at ulta and they have a ton of products including an acne care line which is really really good but i wanted to talk about the snail wash off mask because i recommend this to everyone of all skin types this has a 95 percent snail mucin concentrate and you've probably seen this on TikTok because of the weird texture of the product. It is literally like a gooey snail mucin mask that feels so incredibly strange on the skin. If you are weird about textures, you might not like this. It kind of feels like a jello-y consistency, but it is so damn good. So I like to use this in the shower specifically. I like to use it if I'm not using the acne foaming cleanser, or even if I am really, you could use this in combination with any product. So I'll use this after cleansing in the shower and I'll let it sit again while I'm washing my hair, washing my body, and then wash it off at the end. Snail mucin is absolutely amazing amazing for helping with blemishes on the skin, but also help hydrate and soothe the skin. I'm sure you've heard of the Cosrx snail mucin. That's like the most popular product that includes snail mucin. But in my opinion, this is the best one. It has such a high concentration of snail mucin, and it is one of the only masks that I have found that is for hydration that is wash off. I feel like, you know, like the Summer Fridays jet lag mask, like there are a few masks that are meant for hydration, but really when you think about it, it's just a really thick moisturizer. This is an actual wash off mask that is meant to really penetrate the skin, hydrate the skin, and also soothe the skin with snail mucin concentrate. There are also some really amazing ingredients in here besides that. Of course, I wanted to mention it's fragrance free, alcohol free, all of those things I would never recommend. It also has strawberry fruit extract, licorice root, which is so good for soothing and calming the skin. It has Centella Asiatica extract. Like this is such a good product. And I know that people talk about it a lot, but it is under $20 and it is absolutely worth your money. You get a huge amount, 3.38 ounces of this giant bottle of literally liquid gold for your irritated, summery, hot, sweaty, sticky skin. Like just try it. I promise you will not regret it. You got to get over the weird feeling on your face. But after that, I swear you will never go back. Okay. So the last product that I want to talk about is the one that I I mentioned for my body care that I have been addicted to. And this was a favorite in a favorites video recently. And that is the Mega Babe Space Bar, which I'm gonna put in here because this is what mine looks like. <laughs> a piece of paper. <laughs> that is how much I use this damn thing. You wanna ever find out if I use up my products, go to my empties video. This, I can't even put in my empties video because I'm going to use it until it is non-existent. <laughs> Okay, so let me read you some of the ingredients that are in this space bar, which is an underarm soap bar. Activated charcoal, tea tree oil, 
glycolic acid, vitamin C, sodium chloride, avocado, and olive oils. All of these things provide you something different for your skin. So obviously glycolic acid is going to help exfoliate your underarms, which is the leading cause of bacteria is buildup in your underarms. Tea tree oil is gonna help cleanse and tone that area to help with some of the underarm darkness. Activated charcoal, I love because it helps pull things up from the skin. And then sodium chloride helps fight odor and avocado oil is gonna add hydration. So this thing is amazing. It does foam up just a little bit. So what you can do with it is soap it up under your arms first thing when you get in the shower and let it sit for 60 seconds while you are washing the rest of your body or getting your shampoo in your hair and then wash it off like when you're done washing the rest of your body. Let it sit on the skin for a little bit to really get in there. If you know me, you know I'm a stinky queen. Hashtag stink. I've always been stinky. So when I found Mega Babe, it was like, Hallelujah. Like, her products are incredible. She also has a detox, detox underarm mask that's like a clay mask. Incredible. I just recommend all of her underarm products. I haven't tried some of her boob sweat products because there's nothing really there to be sweating, sweetie. But if you're looking for like body care for specific needs, like being stinky or being sweaty, like you have got to try out Mega Babe. If you buy all of these products, I promise you, you will be less sweaty, less stinky, less acne. Like you're gonna feel good. And I have tried a lot of products, you guys. I continue to go back to these and the fact that they are under $20 is just the cherry on top. Thank you again to Hero Cosmetics for sponsoring a portion of this video. Obviously, sunscreen is the most important step in this entire list here. If you don't use sunscreen, there's literally no point in using anything else because your skin is going to be fried by the sun. I'll have everything linked down below. Let me know if you have any questions on this list or these products, and also let me know what some of your most affordable summer go-tos are, and I will see you guys in the next video really soon.